Okay, so here's another related rates problem. Let's say we have an island with a mountain on it. Uh, this is in the middle of the ocean. And we're going to have uh, some boats sailing away from it. And here we have, we have one boat over here, a sailboat. And he's sailing east at, let's say, he's going at 10 knots. 10 knots is just nautical miles per hour. And we have, we have another one, it's a little bit bigger. This boat is sailing north at, let's say, 15 knots. Uh, let's write that over here, actually. At 15, 15 knots. Okay, so they're sailing away from this island, uh, and they're going different places. Now what we can infer from this is that if we th if this is our starting point where they both sailed away from, uh, we have, uh, and we want to, we can make this like a coordinate axis, right? So this will be our y-axis. We'll connect this one, this will be our x-axis. And there's this line between them, um, this line here. Let's call this this distance d, right? This is the distance uh, between the two boats at any given time. So the first thing we have to do is if we want to find the distance of these boats at some point, um, we're going to have to connect these three variables. Uh, and how we're going to do that is with Pythagoras' theorem. So we know that uh, what do we have x squared plus y squared plus y squared is going to equal d squared. Right, because it's like a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Same thing. Or another way that we can write this is um, if you want, instead we could say that these values, this could be, um, for example, this could be x at t, this could be y at t, and this could be d at t. This might be a little bit easier notation for this problem, and that would give us up here, um, we would have x squared at t, plus y squared at t uh, is equal to d squared at t. All right, that's the same thing. We just uh, changed the notation here a little bit. Uh, and that might prove to be a little bit easier for us. Because here, the knots, this is like the, this is the rate of change of x at t, right? This is the derivative of x at t. Because uh, where x at t would be the distance, this would be the speed. So we want to differentiate this. Uh, let's just break it down here, uh, and we will differentiate it and see what we get. So, x squared at t is going to be equal to uh, 2 times x at t times x prime at t. This is going to be plus um, 2y at t times y prime at t. And this is going to be equal to 2 times d at t times d prime of t. Now, right away, we can cancel out these 2s. We can divide everything by 2, and we'll just eliminate those so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And now we want to solve for d prime at t. So if we just put, if we arrange it here, we have d prime at t because we want to find the rate that this distance between the boats is changing. And that's this here, d prime at t, which is just going to be x at t times x prime at t plus y at t times y prime at t. And this is going to be all over d at t. And we do know what y prime t and x prime t were. Those are the five and the, or the 10 and the 15 knots. So let's just put that in to clean it up a little bit more, and we'll get d prime t is equal to 10 times x at t plus 15 times y at t. And this is all over d at t. Uh, oops, everything got bumped down. Uh, we're just going to keep going now. That's OK. Um, so say we want to find. Uh, we want to find the distance between these two boats, let's say, like, uh, two hours after they've left this island. So what we have to do now is 
Um, we need x at t and d at t. Well, that's not too bad. These boats have been going at constant speeds, so we know that if he's gone, you know, 10 knots per hour, or 10 knots for two hours, he's gone 20 nautical miles, you know, in two hours. So let's fill in these values for x at t, y at t, and d at t, and then we'll be able to find out uh, what the rate of change is for that distance. So let's just go up here. Uh, we'll say that d at t is equal to um, x, uh, this is 10, Oops. 10 times uh, 20, like we just said, right, it's been 20 knot, or 10 knots for 2 hours, plus uh, we had 15 times 30, and this is all going to be over, well, d t is like the square root of x squared plus y squared, so we're going to write that down here. Uh, it will be the square root of 20 squared plus, plus uh, 30 squared, just like that. All right, and this is equal to, let's still say d prime at t uh, is going to be equal to 200 um, plus 15 times 30 is 450. And this is over the square root of... 400 plus 900, that's uh, root 1300, 1300. And actually, let's just, um, yeah, what should we do? We'll just rewrite this as <clears throat> 650, oops, need the pencil, 650. And now what we can do, we can just divide and we can cancel out this one zero with these two zeros. And we end up with 65 over uh, root 13 knots. And so what this is, uh, this is d prime at t. That's this distance here, d at t. Uh, that's the rate that it's changing at two hours.